Central Bank of People of Zanzibar. Wow, this is a huge building. Uh, and it's the government building it. So that's where the manner of Zanzibar has been kept. Listen up, we're coming into the, we're coming into Stone Town. This is Some logistic operation. Yeah, we can, uh, you know, this is just the first time, and uh, we're gonna make a nice um, logistic in terms of uh, making it more, more efficient, yeah. efficient, more yeah, palatable to the consumers, and make our family to enjoy Zanzibar more than ever because. The next program, the next, the coming program that we're gonna do, it, it will have only one ferry and one flight. Yeah, let's so look at those. From, yeah. You fly from Arusha to Zanzibar, and then one ferry to Dar es Salaam, and then home. So it makes it more easier. As you know, Dar es Salaam is crowded, so we keep that uh, at the very end. It's only two nights, so the first night and the second day, the third day, you have free morning before you go to the airport in the night. So people wants to spend time in Dar es Salaam during the daytime, they will have enough time to spend. There you go, family. Uh, this is me and my good brother, Mali, here, putting our great minds together, working on a nice November 2021 Tanzania Roots and Culture Tour. Yeah? This is my, this is my back when we first did Ghana in December 2006. Yeah? It was eight of us. Then November 2007, it was 42 of us. Yes, family, a big jump like that. You know, that's that's what happens when you just you know, you put a schedule together, you dissect it, and you just work on it efficiently. So, family, we have a whole lot. We're gonna keep it posted on as the journey of a lifetime continues. And we are coming into. Are we in Stone Town? Are we coming into Stone Town? We are in Stone Town now. Because I figure since all this traffic, uh, things has changed, and uh, for some reason, this part of the island gets a lot of rain. Uh, Two back because to back of the days wind, of rain. wind direction brings a lot of clouds and rain here and you can see people are just standing out walking and doing their life not even thinking of the raindrops I'm sure people will uh, think that the people of Zanzibar are crazy but uh, what they say is that uh, whatever gets wet it will dry so absolutely it doesn't, the sun will come out yeah it will rain maybe for one hour like you see that young brother going to the to the masjid with his nice uh, white dress and it's raining and he, he just keep on moving and he's not even trying to protect his eyes from raindrops because he knows by the time he finished with the uh, for, with the service I mean he's going to the masjid after he come out of the masjid everything is dry and back to normal Salama. You see our driver is greeting the, the people passing along the road because in Africa we really respect uh, friends so passing your friends without saying hello it will may bring up a bad image and uh, the friends will feel like you're not friendly anymore that's why you can see our driver will always say hello to the people passing by the road because he is born and raised in Zanzibar and he knows them so since he knows them why should he not say hello? Oh, that's excellent family. Family, you know in Africa we respect the extended family system. It's the system whereby you take care of each other. So saying hello, it, 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 it really forms a, a sense of friendship and good bond of uh, uh, of the people that are living here in Zanzibar. And that shows really love, not like passing and doing your own life. If you pass and do your own life, if things goes wrong, people will not come to you, people will not run to you because they know that you are not friendly. So for us, keeping our friendship, keeping our bond of being good friends is very important. There you go, family. This is why we do Roots and Culture Tour, family. Okay, welcome to Stone Town. 